Hey, it's Manu with 22 Sound. Welcome to our weekly new vinyl release alert. We got lots of great new music here for you. Just like every week, we're bringing you the highlights of the vinyl release week. And we're looking at July 29th, 2022, this time. As always, I'd like to ask, please subscribe to our channel, like, comment, follow us on our social media, all those great things. Thank you very much. We're starting this week with the Viagra Boys. Yeah. It's the third album, Cave World, comes just one year after Welfare Jazz, guys from Sweden. And I guess I will put them in the punk category. At times a little bit of a garagey feel to it and a nice little swagger, which is something that the Swedes are traditionally really great at. They're adding in some sax sometimes, just for good measure. Really fun band. And yeah, lyrically, they're really satirical, really witty. They definitely have a sense of humor, but they're not a joke band. They just don't take themselves too, too seriously. And it comes out really good. Really great album. And I would recommend to watch their videos too. They're usually really funny. Viagra Boys, Cave World. Next up is Amanda Shires with her new album, Take It Like a Man. Yeah, she's a singer songwriter and also a great fiddle player part of the country all-female supergroup the high women yeah this is of course rooted in country americana and yeah i really like the songs that she pre-released of this album especially the title track um, has really like a nice dark mood to it uh, lots of piano uh, her voice is just really captivating you really believe every word she's singing and i love the production on it too it's really nice and warm i think that's gonna sound great on vinyl very promising amanda shires take it like a man next up is a pretty new band from england it is ithaka um, and their only second album they fear us i would probably describe this as metallic hardcore uh, with just the right amount of melody in there within the intensity. Um, their riffs are really uh, crushing, but at times pretty complex. Some people have heard even put them in the kind of math core, math rock uh, category, but um, they really balance it out nicely. So I'm not always the biggest uh, fan of the math core stuff. Sometimes I feel like they throw in weird time patterns just for complexity's sake, uh, not really serving the songs, but they do a really good job at that. Those riffs are still like really banging, intense, and it really has an emotional intensity to it too. Thanks especially to a great vocalist. That's something that sometimes in that mathy genre um, lacks a little bit too, but they really have it. This is a really, really promising new band. What I heard so far from this new album is really great. Definitely want to check out Ithaca, They Fear Us. Yeah, next up is an album a little mellower. Nice, perfect for the summertime, I would say. It's Whiskey Myers. They've been around for a little while. Uh, their debut came out in 2008. One of the great southern rock bands of the moment, if you ask me. And yeah, really like the songs that I heard so far of this new album. Got some nice horn parts in there. Bluesy southern rock to have become a little bit of a sucker for horn parts. Weirdly, I don't know, I never used to really like that, but now I'm always excited when I hear some nice horns in the music. I don't know what happened to me, but it's great. And uh, Cody Cannon, really great singer. He has a nice raspy voice, it just fits perfectly in this sound so i think really promising should be a really not a great album of whiskey myers judging by the songs we've heard so far yeah next up is a pretty big departure totally different vibe it's more mother and her album chas codes yeah she's not only a musician she's also a poet and she's really prolific uh, she released eight studio albums since 2016 under this name alone and i would uh, describe the music as a kind of, kind of melange of jazz rap r&b very experimental um, but this particular album it really has like a certain lightness breeziness to it at least sonically um, has a lot of features on it so a bunch of different voices so it almost has a little bit of a compilation feel but it's still cohesive enough that it really works as an album really great stuff that's warm other jazz coats and 
Last but not least, we're throwing in a really nasty one here. It's Artificial Brain with their self-titled album. It's um, the third one altogether. We'll call that technical avant-garde death metal. Here's some black metal undertones in there. Yeah, some, some of the stuff is really dissonant, but it also has some melodic epic moments on there. Vocals are super guttural, ultra low. Yeah, they really kind of create a suffocating atmosphere on it in a in a good sense i know that sounds weird but i'm sure the metalheads out there know what i mean and there is just really a lot to discover on here lots of stuff coming together pretty complex um, but yeah if you like your death metal a little more challenging this might be a really good one for you artificial brain all right as always I like to point out this is of course just the tip of the iceberg obviously there's lots more releases out there and this is are just our subjective highlights of the week but if you want to see the full list go to our website 22soundrecords.com and you can pre-order all those records and many more of course right there as well all right don't forget to subscribe to our channel let us know in the comments what you're excited about and i hope i see you all next week keep discovering new music Thank you for watching.